a message to Demo. A lot, you know, from the art of the one that is Rizaniki Gabaya. This is a big, you know, um, freaking update on Demo and why he's one of the most, you know, um, powerful characters and nons and why he's one of the most, you know, influential characters on my channel because, um, literally, if you talk about rock, if you talk about everything, literally, nigga, I was there when that shit first came out, literally, Blink-182, literally, your press was some 41, literally, I was there when it was all happening. And if you wanna know, his original name was Damo, based off the Dumo doll. Part of the reason why I like Vanessa is the exact same reason when I started to make music and make my own beats, I started to, you know, refer to myself and think to myself as Damo, because he used to literally have, you know, a lot of, you know, energy, literally, when he raps, he used to tell me to have more energy when I rap. Cut to the chase, the cheddar. So what I liked about, you know, um, Vanessa in the beginning is literally, she came when it went hand in hand with me being a rapper on the radio. I do see people lip syncing my songs, but as far as, you know, um, Funimation, I don't know. You know, Funimation, you know, um, it's fucking tricky. Literally, I can literally just talk to that nigga, you know, Chris and Sean, um, literally, and then literally I can see a video of it just getting shut down. You know, fucking, um, I know fucking Chris could be lazy, literally, um, getting drunk and shit, and then all of a sudden, he's the voice actor of Show by Rock. So, following up with Demo, this is, you know, an inside video that I'm incoming, and that I properly represent. I can't slap the Andre Nicotina My Ride video. So, if you're wondering, literally, at Damo's house, literally, I was gonna go visit him earlier, but there was some, you know, um, a little bit of, you know, um, not anything crime involved, but, you know, um, just personal for, uh, conversation, like, um, some blood interest, and what was gonna happen is, if I were to play them that Isaiah video, which Isaiah showed me that song, which is really, really bad and illegal, literally, where it comes to, um, Lord Damo's son, would have had a really, you know, um, irregular, you know, reaction, and he would see this Andre Nicotina video, I'm just talking about Lily, he would allow with the I'm So Hood remix, which I hope he didn't see yet, Lily, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm sure I'm not yet, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show him Lily, um, the one with Jay Stalin, you know, um, with Shinobu, and then I'm gonna literally show him the I'm So Hood remix, and then Lily will gonna play Call of Duty, because I am, you know, coming over, but if I were came over before, Lily, I would allow with the I'm So Hood remix, Lily, and he would have saw the Andre Nicotina Literally, he would be like, what? <laughs> Do I sniff blood? You made this video for somebody else? Literally, what's with this for you getting fucked in the ass? As the song kept playing, literally, as the beat kept playing, like, bruh, it's clobbering all over you. This is not allowed. <laughs> he normally would have understood the full video. <laughs> and currently, I have a kid literally with his ex, so you have to understand. I could, you know, come just yet because of that embarrassment. We're in a desperate time right now with no extensive validation, like no going over hacked accounts about people, you know, hacking my girlfriend. We do have fan art, exact fan art, literally, of my manga on the street, but it's still under 300 and they can still gaslight me. And we were just cool, literally. He just confirmed, you know, uh, My Little Pony last time I was over there. So it's not about that, you know, I wanted to inform him, literally. He could say something, you know, literally, so I'm ready for a better time. That little bit of Uncle Sonny, literally understand in the beginning, I'm not rolling with that. So we are going full frequency when Demo. And also for Fortress, literally, his character, Demo, will be performing the mood first date. So if you're informed, you know, Demo, you know, Dominique, you know, Dominique's son has a son named Jaden. And every, you know, um, now and then, literally, I like to refer to, you know, Jaden to Jaden of, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, since Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Anniversary show that literally provides multiple entertainment like comedy, you know, um, good drip, you know, literally, um, characters, you know, the fighting characters like Chaz, you know, Alexis, etc. And I also, you know, like to, you know, um, inspire Jane for basketball since, you know, um, I didn't play basketball literally in my teens, but, um, I played it, you know, um, my early 20s when I was at the gym, you know, so I fell back on my, you know, early 20s a lot. And, um, what's, uh, ended up happening is, um, if you really know the truth of, you know, all my training, you know, um, Sonny just played an Ice-T song that literally almost killed me, literally, um, because Sonny told me to listen to, you know, Ice-T when I was younger, and I just listened to him, and everything he fucking said sounded like a cassette tape, literally, and it pissed me off, you know, I could come back, you know, Eris could come back where, you know, um, Jamboree, you know, Naughty by Nature, but that's a whole nother story, the whole fact of literally rapping what somebody's telling you, oh my god, it's getting heat, you know, and, um, literally freaking, uh, the last time, um, Damo sent me a picture, it looked just 
like Sunny Lily. So what ends up happening, Lily is um it's hard, you know, actually, you know, um rooting for Anthony right now because Lily, I just, you know, um uh heard a replay Lily of him, his uncle, and his brother Lily fucking going back and forth about Ice T about who had the better Ice T song. So it's hard to root for you know Anthony. But other than that, you know, the reason why Lily um um, Damo's a good topic is because um, he's a uh, really um, big multi-dimensional figure because uh, what ends up happening, if you actually do research, you know, um, the difference between me and Chris, lately, um, Damo is an actual artist, you know, um, lately, so, and certain things he might be able to feel for me, you know, more than Chris at times because lately he puts so much, you know, um, uh, tough and effort into his, you know, fucking art, and, uh, <laughs> What ends up happening is, you know, I end up thinking about him literally while watching Trunks versus the Boar. So, you know, um, I am, you know, coming out there soon. You know, um, shout out to Riverlet. Shout out to Burner Lily. I saw him recently. I also saw Fat Joe in Oakland. But what I really did, you know, in all honesty, literally, was I wore a pair of feelers. Literally, I did an entire, you know, um, blood course and training. And, you know, now I'm good at, you know, Call of Duty. So, um, literally, uh... When I hit Damo on the phone the other day, Lily, he said he didn't want to get into, you know, no street talk and that he was doing good. And what he was doing was he was wearing, you know, um, a really cheap, you know, sweater that he got at Didi's. And that feels good. That feels really, you know, warm and comforting that Lily, he's on my level, Lily, um, where it comes to autistic wear. Because that, you know, uh, means that uh, Lily, um, autism is closer to, you know, like a grown man in a wheelchair, you know, um, in a way. You know, Lily, and how they come at you in high school is Lily, like, um, you're an old man that's bigger and you know the reason why that's good is because you can't absorb you know a little autistic kid you know absorbs a lot and, you know that is connected if you do your research you know eternally but the more mature thing is obviously being more multi-dimensional so anyway <laughs> I just wanted to keep it 100 with him, you know, that literally, um, it wasn't about me keeping the street, he is changing, he is trying to, you know, um, stay off the streets, it was just something interesting, you know, literally, to talk about topics. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bobby Lon. we shall be polishing our dicks in no time. <laughs> and, you know, um, fun fact, Damo's character design is based off Ozma from Fairy Tale, and it's a pretty good movie. <laughs> but anyway, this is Riz Anarchy. And I am coming through.